remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? A little house cleaning before I go in. If you have not done so already, after you subscribe, there's a little bell next to your subscribe button. Click that thing right now so you can get your notifications each time I drop a new video like this. That way you'll be in the loop first. Make sure you click all notifications, otherwise you may not get any. Also, smash up the likes, smash up the likes, smash up those likes. Does not mean you necessarily agree with the content. It just means that you appreciate me taking the time out of my busy schedule to post the content and bring you this valuable information. Now let's get into it. In early December, police officers in San Francisco pulled over their squad car to talk to a homeless man about a burglary. The man immediately attacked them with a vodka bottle. After 24-year-old Jamaica Hampton drew blood with his blows and refused orders to get on the ground, officers shot him three times, wounding him in the leg. Hampton was charged with assault with a deadly weapon and his left leg was amputated in surgery. Police officers demanded swift prosecution, but the city's new reform-minded district attorney backed off saying he would not immediately press charges against Hampton because the officers involved in the shooting were also under investigation. Union officials objected and called for federal intervention. The furor that has erupted over the Hampton attack reflects a growing trend across the nation of recently elected progressive prosecutors drawing the ire of local police departments as well as some top federal officials. These DAs, they say, want to work to remake the criminal justice system from the inside and that sending people to jail for all manner of infractions will only further stress an overburdened prison system and doom lives. Police unions, however, caution that such soft on crime tactics will only create chaos and endanger law enforcement. Homie don't think so. These are not soft on crime tactics. They are logical tactics, logical tactics that Many in law enforcement have no idea of how to apply because they really do believe that they are above the law. And there has never been such a thing as soft on crime in America anyway. America has always been hard on crime. Over the years, they have just gotten progressively worse. And the worst part is the soft on crime when it comes to police officers. Now, you want to talk about soft on crime. That's soft on crime. What do they have, like less than a 1% conviction rate or even indictment rate for police officers who commit crimes? Think about that. These guys, what they want is absolute impunity to do whatever they want to do. They oftentimes get off. They will commit infractions. They will basically violate people's civil rights in the name of getting home safely. And as long as they can say, my, I fell for my life, they get to kill people and go home. It doesn't matter. I've never seen well, I take that back. I was about to say, never seen anybody do their job, a horrible job, and not do a job at all that they, was, they signed up to do and get paid and stay on the job. But politicians do it all the time. But members of law enforcement, they have a horrible work record. I mean, just across the board, you name it. Just horrible. Talk about complaints. Customer service is non-existent. They have horrible records, horrible work ethics. Yet, they continue to ask for raises and they want more personnel. They want more equipment paid by the taxpayers who they don't even protect. Come on, man. See, I knew this was going to happen just like you knew it was going to happen. 
the moment somebody goes in playing Elliot Ness and trying to clean it up, first thing they're going to do is point to a specific incident or two or three where somebody was given a little leniency and the officer got killed. So they're going to take that small percentage of officers who get their heads whooped or get shot and killed or whatever, or stabbed, they're going to take that small percentage to justify violating the rights of millions. That's how they do. The moment you let a so-called reformed criminal out of prison, let's say you commute, they commute a person's sentence who was sentenced to death. They commute his sentence, let him out. He goes and kills one person. They're going to use that one case to make sure that nobody else out there gets a commute, commuted sentence. They're going to use that one case. This is what they always do. I saw this play coming from a mile away. Can't fool me with this one. The thing is, is prosecutors and law enforcement have a strange relationship. They're supposed to be independent of one another, but at the same time, it's appropriate for them to try to get along. Because they got to work together, right? It's, it's, a, it's very weird. So this is why it is very hard for people to get justice. Because once the police accuse you of something or puts, put the cuffs on you, then the prosecutors oftentimes automatically takes the police officer's side. They get the benefit of the doubt when the police officers go into courtrooms. They get the benefit of the doubt. The judge give them the benefit of the doubt. The jurors give them the benefit of the doubt. And they always sit up there in the uniform and with the badge on and the gun on. And you think, oh, yeah, you know, like, it's the officer of the law. Got to believe him. I know some of those officers be laughing their asses off because they know they're corrupt. And I know some of them be laughing at their buddies when they, they see them sitting up there on the stand. Straight line. Some criminal justice experts say the friction between the two sides could create a legal paralysis. I thought we were already experiencing a legal paralysis. Let me tell you something. The relationship between DAs and law enforcement has to be aggravated before it can be fixed. You have to create trust between law enforcement and the community in which they're supposed to be protecting. That means prosecuting those who attack as well as letting members of law enforcement know that they are not above the law. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.